Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Prilici Friday, and yes, it's Friday, right? We made it to another week, another weekend. Fridays are always the best day of the week, aren't they? So hopefully you guys all had an awesome week. It's been crazy. Every week is crazy, right? But it's summertime. So um, lots of fun is being had amongst the craziness as well. So hopefully you guys are having a good summer too. It's supposed to be hot again today. I'm just realizing last week I was um, bumped that I forgot to bring my fan over and I think I may be feeling the same way again today. So we'll see. Hello, Miss Nikki. Hey, Susie. How are you guys? Thank you so much for joining me. So we are going to be having lots of fun today. I have uh, like a lot of really awesome stuff to show you guys and I, so I'm gonna do some things kind of quickly and then I'm gonna turn the camera down probably sooner than I normally do because I have a bunch of stuff I want to show you and it's easier to show you like down on the table right so yeah so we are I didn't even post about a product of the week Monday turned out to be a crazy day and then I kept thinking I was gonna get all my posts on our Facebook group done um, you know maybe Tuesday but then my son Kate's birthday was on Tuesday and then that kind of came and went and then went I don't know it's just been one of those crazy weeks so I didn't officially have a product of the week this week that I posted about but we are going to be using this super cute the field of flowers stamp set is what we're going to be featuring today in the projects that we're going to demonstrate in just a little bit so yeah two awesome projects that I will show you guys using this super cute like I said the field of flowers stamp set it's so much fun you can just build this whole uh, appropriately named you can build your whole field of flowers with this stamp set so good name for that stamp set right so yes so what else oh don't forget hey Charlene hello bonus days are going on I have not been so great Jamie hello about like at classes I keep forgetting to mention bonus days which is like awful right hey Philomena so I'm trying to make sure I'm like um, especially mentioning it out of my Facebook live so hoping I'm catching people that um, will be coming to class um, throughout the month um, at the stamp studio or ordering online right you get a free $5 coupon for every $50 that you spend. So spend right now and it actually goes through August 3rd. So we got a couple days into August even that you can still order um, and get the bonus day coupon. So spend $50 between now and August 3 and you get a $5 bonus day coupon. Hey Teresa, they're going to email it to you. So make sure whatever your customer profile is that you have set up um, either through me or um, if you order online at stampinup.com, make sure you have a good email address there because that's where they're going to send the coupon code. Um, I'm sure there's a way to get the code again if something happens. It's maybe not the easiest thing in the world, so try to have a good email address on file. So, and what I've been doing is as soon as I get my email from Stampin Up with those coupon codes, I have like a separate folder that is like for coupon codes. So I just move that email right in there. So then starting on August 4th, when I put an order in, I can use all my coupon codes. So keep that in mind. It's an awesome deal, kind of like Celebration, right? Where you get a free item with every $50 that you spend. So this is just a straight out $5 coupon. Screenshot, that's a good idea too, Jamie. I like that, yes. Yeah, somehow just be organized so that you don't lose them, right? So on August 4th, we're all gonna be putting more orders in to redeem those codes then too, right? So yeah, um, and actually, speaking of that, I know Jamie, you said you got your holiday catalog already. Um, as demonstrators, they're sending them out to us right now. I have not gotten mine yet, although I haven't checked the mail in a day or two. So maybe it's in there. Hey, Barb, glad you can join us. I know it is a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, summer is awesome. I love summer. Even when it's hot, I still love it. Uh, so yeah, the sun, we've had so much good sun too. I think that's a lot of it, right? So, um, okay, distracted, squirrel, what was I just saying? Totally forgetting something about bonus days. Oh no, about the holiday catalog, yes. So actually starting, I think it's August, like the beginning of August, I don't have the catalog right in front of me, but so our holiday catalog, as demonstrators, we can pre-order right now in July. So I'm sure, yeah, in August as customers, you can start ordering from the holiday catalog. So uh, you could use your bonus day coupons to get some fun holiday catalog product as well. So keep that in mind. I will be having more info. I'm a little bit behind. I don't, I'm just like holiday catalog. I can't even believe that we're talking about that already. So, and this happens to me pretty much every single year. You got yours, Nikki? That's awesome. Yeah, so I've looked at it online a couple of times, but I just, 
I don't know. I always kind of drag my feet on this holiday stuff because I love our annual catalog and there's so much cute, awesome stuff in there that I want to play with that, like, don't rush the holiday catalog, right? So anyway, that's just my opinion. I know lots of people are super excited about holiday catalog stuff. So we will be getting into that and sharing lots of fun stuff. And hey, Roseanne, so glad you can join us as well. So, okay, let's do, we're going to jump right in and do our first drawing, right? So we had the beautiful, these are the square, let me make sure I'm saying that, yep, the square vellum doilies, super cute. We actually are using these on a project for our make and takes at our group meeting this week. So I finally broke these out and actually um, I'm playing with them and using them. So they're really, really cute, beautiful, fun vellum too. So they are kind of a um, like a um, see-through, I guess, you know, that vellum kind of look a little slidey. I want to say slidey material, slidey vellum see-through, but beautiful. Love on the square too. And you can kind of see how you could cut and add some fun detail even with that kind of like um, star look there too, right? So yeah, so this is what we are drawing for today. Your name as always is in the drawing. If you shared the Facebook Live video as many times as you share, your name is in here. So share all week long until next Friday when we do Facebook Live. Or if you're new to me and have not signed up for my email list, go ahead and do that at constantcontact.com. I always include the link too. So in the details to um, this YouTube video, I have a link right on there. So if you're like, how do I subscribe to her email list? Just look at, um, like the title, I, I edit that after we're done with this Facebook Live, and one of the links in there is subscribe for me, to my email list. So go ahead and do that. Your name goes in here as well. So, and Philomena, you're already sharing. So your name's gonna be in here for next week already, right? So yes, okay, so we got lots of names in here. Thank you, the sharing I love, and I know I saw a couple people share to um, crafting groups that they're a part of, which I truly, truly love and appreciate, because that is for me one of the best ways to reach new stamping friends which is kind of what what i'm all about that's help helps me and my small business to keep reaching new friends so i appreciate that so very very much it's a quick simple easy thing for you guys to do and it means so much to me so thank you okay so here we go we are going to do our drawing you know i'm shaking these around really really well right thank you Susie, for the share you guys are awesome okay i have one name in my hand and it goes to oops and I'm dropping it. Okay, hold on, I gotta grab it. I dropped it on the floor. Oh, okay, Miss Sally, Sally McLennan. She's not even on here. What's so funny is usually she's always like, me, 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 pick me. She's not even on here for me to, um, for her to see. So, but anyway, so Sally, when you watch later, congratulations, you are the winner of the square vellum doily. So I will get those to you. All right, let's put that aside. I gotta dump the names out because we're gonna do our next drawing in just a few minutes. I wanna show you guys. Oh, so okay, what we're gonna give away on next Friday's Facebook Live is the champagne rhinestones. So Philomena and Susie already have their name in the drawing for, they didn't even care what the, what it was giving away, right? Which is fun, but these are awesome. I love, love, love these champagne rhinestones. Super excited that they carried over from our spring mini catalog. So yes, we will be giving away the champagne rhinestones next week on Facebook Live, okay? For sharing and signing up for my email list. Simple, easy, easy peasy, right? Um, What's next? What's next? I've got a couple things I'm trying to decide. Let's do our other drawing though, okay? So this is the deal. If you put an online order in of at least $30 last week using the host code that is always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com or I will show it to you in just a couple minutes when we flip the camera down, right? So you can always find it though on my blog, gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. So shop online, use the host code. Um, anytime between last Friday and Wednesday at midnight, you automatically receive both of these cute, um, fun whale projects that we made on Facebook Live last week, you automatically get these as a thank you for your order. Then uh, your name's gonna go in the drawing too that we're gonna do in just a minute. And in addition, if you bump your order up to $50, and honestly, right now, why wouldn't you? Because you get your bonus day coupon and you also get from me to pick either the new um, embellishment for July, which are the butterfly gems, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So you can pick either one of these free with your $50 order, okay? So in the meantime though, back with uh, just your $30 order, your name went in the drawing to win this super cute, the Zany Zebra stamp set. Love these sweet little zebras, right? So we are gonna do our drawing right now for that stamp set. Okay, and let's see who the lucky winner is. 
see. It feels really quiet. It was like super busy kind of around town this morning and I live right um, right off of town basically. And now it's like so quiet. I think everyone's heading to the lake now is how I feel like. Like I'm the only one that doesn't go to the lake. Although last weekend I did get to go to the lake, which was which was fabulous. Great to get away and relax and forget about work and stuff for a little bit. So, okay, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Drawing four. All right, I've got one in my hand, one ticket. Miss Teresa, congratulations. I think you're on here too, aren't you, Miss Teresa Hinchman? You are the winner of the Zany Zebra stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you. Congratulations. That's fun, along with your cards. And I think your order was definitely over $50. So she either got the free embellishment or the tutorial. I can't remember now, but congratulations, Miss Teresa. Okay. All right, so do you guys want to see what we're going to give away on next Friday's Facebook Live with your online order of at least $30? Your name's going to go in the drawing to win another super, super cute. This is the Hippo Happiness stamp set. This has been such a fun. You're welcome, Miss Teresa. You are so very, very welcome. Uh, it's fun to have people on here too when they win, so I, I love that. So very cool. Um, you're going to really enjoy that stamp set too, I think. So, But in the meantime, next week, we will be giving away the Hippo Happiness stamp set. So super cute, kind of a fun builder. You can see how this one, and then you'd layer over, layer over top. So the hippos, the unicorns, there's a cute little lamb and some butterfly, and then, um, what is that, a balloon there too? With cute sentiments that say, hip, hippo, hooray, when in doubt, be a unicorn. That's kind of a fun one. You are special, hippo birthday, fluttering by just to say hi, and thank you so much, and then to you. <laughs> That's cute, like the little you lamb. And actually, we made, I should show you guys, um, last week I cased a card, I got a whole bunch of swaps, and I was running behind um, getting stuff ready for class. So I was like, oh, we're just gonna use a bunch of these swaps that I received. So let me go, I forgot to bring that over, but I wanna grab that because we made a super cute card with the Hippo Happiness stamp set and the dies. So I wanna show you guys that because it was really a fun, fun card. was a swap. I think it was from Kim Vogel, who's just up the street from me here um, in Mount Pleasant, not too far away. Anyway, she made this super duper cute little hippo happiness card. So you got the fun little hippos with the dyes, and then she did the stamping with the butterflies and the fluttering by just to say hi. So isn't that so cute? I love the colors too, the fun, bright colors on there. And I think everybody loved this card at class too. So thanks, Kim, for your inspiration on that card. So you could make that card if you win that stamp set, right? Okay. Um, one more quick reminder, and I don't, I forgot to bring the cards home. They're down at the stamp studio, but my whale of a time class to go, which features the whale done stamp set. You guys are familiar with this now after we played with it um, last week on Facebook Live, right? So it features the whale done stamp set, the whale builder punch, and then um, the designer series paper. The whale of a time designer series paper so awesome pack of paper you get a full pack of the paper too and the beautiful pool party sheer ribbons you see all the fun um, patterns maybe if I back up a little bit you can see a little bit better right so that's those are half the patterns and those are the other half so you get a full pack of paper you get the stamp set and the punch if you need that um, four cards two of each of them awesome awesome super cute class to go if you're interested again i will put the link for the class to go i'm like pointing like up here so above the youtube or above the facebook live video in the description i'll have a link right there so you can um, go online and order that class to go right from there or if you have any questions let me know but these cards are super cute i just forgot them down at the studio whoops it's always, you know, it's like a dog being on the wrong side of the door. That's how like my stuff is. If it's here at home, I need it at the studio. And if it's at the studio, I need it here. It's like, it's never in the right place. So it's just the story of our lives, right? So, okay. All right. I think, oh, actually one more quick thing that, though to tell you about that whale of a time class to go. RSVPs are due next Friday. So a week from today. So if you're thinking about it, get your order in now so we make sure to get everything um, for you. And actually, this is so funny, somebody's just picking up an order as I'm on um, Facebook Live. I see like someone on the porch, which is like, ah, what's going on? But that's so funny. So she didn't even wave. They're probably like, well, who are you talking to? What are you doing in here? So anyway, it's kind of funny to see it from like another perspective. Oh, it's Gwen. Hi, Gwen. How are ya? <laughs> 
All right, so um, I think we are ready to turn the camera down. Let me just do a quick double check. Yeah, because I have all of my swaps that I um, received recently. I want to show you guys all of these. So it's a bunch because I'm usually like, oh, I'm going to spread it out and show you a few each week. And then again, they end up down at the stamp studio and I forget to bring them back and show you guys. So I'm like, forget it. They're still in the bag. I am going to show them to you right now and then I can take them down to the studio and display them so everybody can see them down there too. So turn your heads away for a sec. I'm going to show you these swaps. Awesome. Lots and lots of fun. I don't even think I know the names of some of these stamp sets, um, but that's all right. You guys are going to get great ideas anyway. So we'll figure it out. Maybe you guys know and can shout them out to me too if you know the name of the stamp set that somebody used on one of these swaps, okay? So, all right, here we go. Turn your heads away for a sec, and we are going to fly through the air. And hopefully this thing is good. All right, we are flipping the camera. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to grab grab both of these two so I'm gonna grab my grid paper this always helps me know when I'm in view or not right okay so that looks good and then here is our host code for the month also the July host code right there that's what you're gonna to want to use if you order online this month okay quick sip of water mm-hmm and okay so here we go so you guys there are so many cute cards all right we're just gonna do them right in order I don't have any idea what order they're in, but look at, oh, hi, Miss K, how are you? It's funny, the um, notification popped up kind of weird, but this one says, wishing you a slice of happiness. And I've seen a few cards made with this fruit, so I'm like, okay, now I gotta find the fruit stamp set. So if you guys know the name of this one, I don't know it. Um, and sometimes people put their names on the back, sometimes they're inside, so I'll try to give credit if um, it's on the back. I don't think we're gonna open anything up. This is a sweet card, right? Embrace each moment. I love like the color combination too, the different shades of blue. This one is from Laura Borshirt. Borshirt, I think is how you maybe say that. <laughs> a little late, no problem, Miss Kay. That's the story of my life, a little late. <laughs> I love this one. Today's plan, consume cocktails, cute fruit. Oh, thank you, Jamie, because I would have been looking all over for that stamp set. Thank you. Cute fruit in the beginner brochure. Love it. Oh, yes. And Anna just got it, too. All right. Okay, so now I know. Beginner brochure. Okay, I'll have to remember that. This one is really fun, too, though, right? This is the Life's Better Than or Nothing's Better Than bundle. So I love the little cocktail. And look at that teeny tiny. Look at that bow. Look at that bow. That is the sweetest, tiniest little bow I have ever seen. Today's plan, consume cocktails. And then she's got fun, um, oh, I don't know. I don't know the name of it, that the designer series paper, but love that. Okay, so we'll just keep flipping through. Actually, who made that one? Do we know? Marsha Gay. I feel like she always makes super cute cards. She's very creative. Um, she's, I guess, yeah, it's, you know, some of them, you, they, every time I get a swap from somebody, um, like Marsha's one of them, I'm like, oh, she always has beautiful cards. This one is cute too, the little doggy. Oh, and there's that ribbon. I don't have that yet. The cute little playful pets ribbon, part of the combo pack. I hope your day is a real treat. Oh, that one's sweet too, just with the little strips. And this one's from Laura Milgan, one of my favorite people down in Ohio. So the funny thing is she lives not too far from Columbus, but she's a Michigan fan. So really, really love her for that too. She must take a lot of heat for that down in Ohio, I would say. Um, and then look, I just got this embossing folder too, the dandelion maybe embossing folder. Sending you a paper hog. That's sweet too, huh? Just a simple card layout, right? From, who's this one from? Megan Hurst. Awesome. And then here is the next one. Look at the, this is the, is this the peony? I think the peony stamp set. Beautiful, huh? With the, can you guys see the dainty diamonds embossing folder? Oh, I love that on the pink too. It really kind of stands out there, doesn't it? And I love how she layered that too with that little piece behind it. I haven't thought to do that, but that really frames the kind of scallops around there really nicely too. So this one is from Karen Braxton. Awesome. Love that card too. You guys, every one is cuter than the next. I love, I've seen that, that kind of paper piecing. They did that in the catalog somewhere and I'm like, what a cool idea. So she just put probably like little strips um, of leftover cardstock that she had, right? Um, and then die cut it with the stitched So Sweetly dies. You can kind of see that, right? With that scallop edge. It's the same as that die, that white one right there, only with all those um, pieces of paper kind of pieced together. What a cute idea. And the fun thanks there too. Those things pop right up so much. It almost looks like 
um, they're thicker than they are. I think she just popped them up. Interesting, super cute. Also, this is another, I love Kara. Kara, I think it's Pe Peasant, maybe? I'm not sure how you say her name, but she always makes really cute cards too. So many people do, right? I love so many people's um, style. This is a fun one, right? Sending you an old fashioned birthday card. Love that, right? So that's like a great, like kind of masculine card too. With, ooh, and those are those little corner, the antique corner slides. I don't have those yet and I was kind of wondering about them. So that looks great how she just kind of added that little accent right there. I love that card. So cute. Well, not cute, just very masculine, right? Here's another. Oh, who'd made this one though? Hold on, let's see. We got to give credit if we can. Sandra Reezy. Awesome. Sandra, I love it. And then another uh, peony card, right? So this one, they use the dies. Oh, I love the kind of window peeking. And look at that beautiful ribbon. Um, can't remember. It's one of the gray. It's like a new gray um, satin, maybe, ribbon. Beautiful. I've ordered it, haven't played with it. You know how that goes. And then um, some of those um, faceted gems too, the elegant faceted gems. That's a great example of the three different colors too, because there's a clear, a pink, um, and kind of a white there. So you get the little idea of all three of them. And this card was by Ruth Bingle. Love her cards too. So many, oh my gosh, so many great ideas here. This is a fun one too, right? So this um, kind of animal, the dog and cat, bundle super popular i believe right always in your heart so sorry for your loss oh yeah that's a sweet one somebody was just saying that that they needed like a pet like sympathy card so that's a great option right there too with the little kitty cat and the hearts and everything love that one and that one is from ink and all night with rhonda morgan love that love them all how can you not right okay here's another great one my thoughts are with you this is with some of the peony paper and I love, um, I think I was thinking about ordering, now I'm not sure if I did, but those dies are really cool, aren't they? And I love that little scallop edge. It's funny, when I, I'm, I flip through these super quick and now I'm looking at them in more detail, I'm like, where's that little scallopy edge from? I love those, I love that little edge. So I have to find where that die comes from because I like that a lot. This one, oh, from Marsha Gay again, because we did actually um, two different swaps I was a part of. Um, so yeah, I got a bunch of cards. And then here is another, I don't know, I've seen a lot of people using this die, but I don't know it yet. Um, so maybe you guys know that one too, right? And then here, there's one of the doilies that Sally just won, one of those square vellum doilies. So you kind of get a little bit better idea there. And I know, let's see, that's the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder and then some more of the Peony Designer Series paper. Look at all these fabulous, oh! There, we are like maybe halfway too, ladies. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm gonna talk fast and do all the other stuff. And then I have lots of time to show you guys these. Cause this one's fun too. Happy little bit late birthday. That's kind of a good one, right? If ever you're not quite on time for somebody, happy little bit late birthday, right? With the balloons and the banners and everything. And I love the twine there too. This one is from Janet Holmes. Okay. <laughs> they do get better and better, don't they, Philomena? And then here's a fun one with the zebra, with the little zany zebra. Kip, kick up your heels. It's time to celebrate. And I love how she just kind of added a little bit of color there too. Um, sorry, I got a text. I had to swipe that away. I don't know if I was shaking my um, table or not, but yeah, so cute. I love that one. Kick up your heels. It's time to celebrate. Awesome. Okay. And then love, I love this stripey paper from that, uh, is it the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper? And then the little Just a Note, right? And then here is the, um, is it the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder? I'm pretty sure. And then the little postage um, stamp and punch, the postage I think that's what it is posted for you maybe hey miss diana we're going through swaps got lots of good ones here i have to show you guys oops this one's upside down oh and wait 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 back up here who made this one this was from michelle wright i don't know if we said this one either and sandy carlson yes cute so cute miss sandy um okay so then the next one wishing you comfort and peace at this time oh this is one from a card kit i'm pretty sure i love all the stamping that she did on that. And look at, she even stamped the ribbon. This is the um, Whisper White ribbon and it looked like maybe, maybe she used a sponge dauber to kind of make it look stripey so it's purple and white. Um, but what is this stamp set? It's part of, hmm, is it the Posy? I'm trying to think if that's what it's called. It's the kit. Um, oh, Nikki, that one with the scallop edge, that's probably what you're talking about, right? Do you think this one's in the hippo? 
I'm going to go look. After we're done, I'm going to go look and see. But you might be right, which is so fun because I have it already and I haven't even noticed that, if that's the case. But I think this one is the Posy. There's a Posy card kit. Beautiful. It's gorgeous, but it's really actually simple to put together. And then you can get the stamp set and use it for other stamping like she did here. But I love. That's beautiful, huh? All those colors. Okay, this is a fun one. Yeah, this is the one that I thought I ordered and then I ended up getting something else. Oh, there it is. The gorgeous posy. Thank you. That's what I was, I thought it was posies. Yeah, it's a beautiful card kit, the very front of the catalog. And then, but look at this one. Isn't this beautiful too? I'm very curious. I love this tile. Um, and then this cool detail here too. Just wanted to say hello. Uh, love, I love all, of, everything about that one. And then I think, did she color? I'm trying to think of what, because are those? I don't know. I'm trying to think of where that came from. It looks like, oh, maybe it's one of like the um, hmm, frosted and clear epoxy droplets, but maybe she colored it, I'm thinking. Oh, there's a little bit of breeze coming through right now. It was like super like quiet, like no breeze. And now my curtains are billowing a little bit, which is good because it's getting hot, ladies. Next one, another cute little doggy doggy. I hope your day is a real treat with that sweet little trim. Oh, I have not seen that. I love that. And just, I love kind of the layering there too, the red, white, and black. Beautiful. This one is from Lynn Feldkamp. Did I give credit on this one? Oh, Amy Story for this one too. Okay. All right. Uh, we got, I don't know, five or six more. I hope you guys are enjoying all these. Oh, see, I told you these are so popular. This more of the little kitty always in your heart. So sorry for your loss. And then this is the new cinnamon cider because that's the ribbon right there. So this is cinnamon cider cardstock and cinnamon cider ribbon made by Lynn Feldkamp again. Awesome. This is a fun one too, how she put these little squares all the way. I really like the look of that too. Isn't that so pretty? Sending you healing vibes. That's sweet, huh? And then the little flowers and the little flower pot. So sweet. This one is from Judy Garza. Okay. And how about this one? You make everything better. Coffee, right? Coffee, you make everything better. And again, this is featuring some of the new cinnamon cider in color. And again, the dainty diamonds. That's a popular one, that dainty diamonds embossing folder. I feel like I've used it like once so far. So that's kind of fun to see people using those. Okay, here's another doggy one. I hope your day is a real treat. And she actually used one of the trinkets, the Playful Pets trinkets, right? with some of the fun designer series paper and that sweet little doggy. So cute. Mary Ellen Stites made this one. They do just keep getting better and better, don't they? How about this one? This is from the Posted For You bundle, right? She did a lot of beautiful coloring. Ah, yes, you have to get some clear envelopes. And you know what, Diana, this swap that I do, that's just one of the requirements is that we have to use a Stampin' Up! clear envelope um, to send the cards in. So yeah. That, you know, you might as well. They protect the cards really well. When I have them down at the stamp studio too, I put an envelope behind it, I put my business card in there and I sell them or I give them away, you know, as kind of incentives for orders and things. Um, so yeah, the envelopes are great. Um, especially, like I said, if you want to sell your cards, because when people are going through them, like the little bits and pieces don't get like pulled off of things when they're pulling them in and out of the racks or if their hands are dirty. So the clear envelopes are fabulous. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying the swaps too, Miss Barb. Yeah, these have been beautiful. Like I want to, this is what's hard because then I'm like, oh my gosh, well, I just love this card. I don't want to do anything different than this. I want to show you guys this card on Facebook Live. So sometimes I do that. When I'm running out of time, I'm like, let's just make somebody's card that like one of these beautiful swaps, right? But this is so pretty too. All of this kind of soft detail on here. She did a lot of coloring too. This had to have taken a while, right? Oh, and she ripped it, it looks like. That's, oh, I remember that was like one of the techniques I first learned. I love that kind of the edges showing like that. Um, and this one is from Rhonda Bassler. All right, we got two more, ladies, and then we will move on to some stamping ourselves. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these. Here's another cute little zany zebra, right, with the happy birthday. Um, oh, let's see, what's Diana saying? I've not gotten them in when I, oh, yes, that's totally fine. Yep, yep, you are totally fine, Miss Diana. We will get that going next month then. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, look at, so the cute little zebra. She's got lots of fun detail. Now I'm trying to figure out where are those? Because that's that right there too. Tell me where, what those embellishments are, guys. I don't know. 
Um, hello, Miss Susan. What's Nikki saying? Maybe using the distressing tool? Yes, probably. Back on this card where she ripped things. Love that. Love that. I don't even know if we still have a distressing tool, but I know what you're talking about because I think I kept mine. But you guys have to tell me what these dots are. Why am I not knowing? Ah, yes, this is the Artistry Bloom Suite. Yes, it is. Yes. Well, are these dots from there? I, I feel like I usually know the embellishments because I want every single embellishment we have. Thank you for the share too, Susan. Anyway, all right, that's the mystery for me right now is those dots. Because I can't believe that they both colored them. They have to come in that color. We'll figure it out. And then last swap. Look at this beautiful one too with the pretty jar. I know, so many cute, 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 cute ones, right? She put a couple little rhinestones there. These teeny tiny little flowers probably from the punch that goes with our Field of Flowers stamp set from Leanne Greff. Awesome. So what do you guys think? Great, great, great swap cards, right? Um, all right. Okay. I got to check it out, Jamie. Yeah. Okay. And you said you used them on your swap. I don't think I've gotten those yet, although maybe they're in the mailbox too. So don't, don't panic if I should have gotten them. Maybe I have them and I just don't know it yet. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed these swaps. This was so fun to show you all of these, right? Okay, so let's scoot these out of the way. Okay, and let me know if there's anything you guys want me to make, show you how to make it on Facebook Live. I don't have everything yet, but I could certainly get things ordered and uh, we could make them too. So, all right, let's see. Bumblebee color, maybe. Uh, yeah. They're bigger, though. They're like more like sparkly or something. So, all right. And you just mailed them yesterday. Okay, perfect. So then I don't have to panic that I don't have them yet. So, all right. I will check those swap cards out, too. I'm, I'm excited to see those. So, okay. I think we are ready. Let me, got to get one more sip of water. <laughs> okay. I think we are ready to do our stamping. Okay. So we are featuring the Field of Flowers stamp set. So you guys can see it a little bit better now, right? This great Field of Flowers, right? And then you can add all these other pretty flowers. And then they've got the sentiments. We've got always thinking of you, always a celebration, always in my heart, my friend, always. You are always in my heart, maybe. Always believe and love, always. So you got lots of fun things you can build in terms of sentiments with that stamp set. And then lots of fun stamping. This is just one of those great, takes you back to like stamping with the stamp set, right? So let me show you what we are gonna be making here. Um, you know what, maybe we'll do, if I slide that, if I put that underneath there a little bit, then you guys can still see what's going on. And I can hopefully see what's going on too. Okay, that'll be good, okay. So our first card, love all of the little detail, right? And the stamping. So this, I have to tell you guys, there were cards that I saw on Pinterest by Andrea Wolford, and she is at makebeautifulcards.com. So these are kind of lightly cased from, uh, used inspiration for my cards from her cards because I loved them so much. Um, she actually kind of sponged or brayered a background, kind of an ombre. So it was a blue, but kind of a lighter blue to a little bit brighter blue. Super pretty. I went with just the embossing, but I love the black too to kind of make things pop also. So anyway, let me show you. Let's get everything out. There's a bunch of stamping that we are doing on this one. Actually, one more color too. So lots of fun stamping there. Okay, grab the stamps themselves and I'm gonna use that punch too. Okay, so we're gonna scoot that over there so I know what I'm doing. So basically, we're gonna stamp on this Whisper White piece I'm going to grab my little scrap grid paper because I think I might go off the edge here. So I'll put that underneath there. Okay, so we are going to start. i got to put that right up there so I see it and I know what I'm doing. So we are going to start with some Granny Apple Green ink, okay? We're going to stamp kind of the, the field of flowers along the bottom. You know what? Where are my glasses? Well, all right, we're going to try this without the glasses. So we want this right down at the bottom. What I'm trying to avoid is having a little white space. Um, so you almost want to stamp a little bit lower than maybe you really need to. Let's see, did I do it? No, no, I clearly did not. Okay, maybe I do need my glasses. I'm gonna go grab those real quick because I thought I was really pretty close there, ladies. 
that's a lot more white space showing. Okay, so now I have my glasses. I'm getting super serious. I'm like crouched down here. Okay, so let's ink this up. Okay. Ooh, eh, oh well. I might have a little flying. Man. Hmm. I don't know what my problem is. I can't get that lower, can I? Well, all right, that's going to be all right. I, maybe it's because I, um, you know, the camera is right in the way. Like, I want my head, like, right down here. Anyway, it'll be fine. So we'll just have a little bit of white space along there, too. I'm trying to decide because I don't have any more white paper. I was going to say I could maybe go get one. You're in between stops, Miss Sharon, heading out west to Denver, I believe. Have an awesome trip. I wish I could go with you. I haven't been out there in a long, long time. All right. Okay, let's see. We will do, let's do our stamping with our always. Next. Yes, hopefully. Good times out in Denver. Oh, yeah. And you're, are you flying or driving, Sharon? Dab it on. Yeah. That's what I should have done, huh, Philomena? Oh, go get groceries. Oh, that's cute. Yes, priorities, Miss Susie. There we go. So there's our always. And then we'll do in my heart. Okay. Stamp that. Let's make sure that's good, right? And we're going to put that maybe right about there. Okay. So now, oh, yes. Okay. So she's saying I'm already here and I flew. So how is it flying, Sharon? Is it crazy or is it not too bad? I'm curious because I haven't even thought about going near the airport. Although I do have to tell you guys, this Monday, we would have been coming back from Maui. We would have left on July 3rd. We would have just come back on Monday from Maui. So kind of sad. Lots of people were posting, you know, oh, they're so bummed that we weren't able to do that trip. Me too, me too, but that's life, right? Okay, so now we are going to grab, I got a, a bunch of strips of white. So this is just scrap white cardstock. I forgot, I should tell you guys about the size. Actually, we'll do that when we put it together. Remind me, okay? So on here now, we're going to do some stamping and punching and then just fussy cutting. Um, everyone followed the rules. Good, 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 Sharon. That's good to know. Um, so let's see, what do we, so we need, actually, what I did was kind of a variety of the little baby, this stamp right here that coordinates with the punch that is part of the bundle. So you've got the Field of Flowers stamp set. So then this stamp right here coordinates with this punch right here. So it does come in a bundle too, okay? So we are going to stamp this in a couple different colors. I'm gonna grab my little scrub pad here because we're gonna need to clean it off after each stamp. Okay, so let's actually do Mango Melody first, okay? We're gonna just ink that up. And we need the other ones too, don't we? So let's try that. And then we're gonna actually stamp these in Mango Melody also. And we're gonna have to fussy cut those, but that's in a, in a moment we'll do that, okay? All right, so now we're gonna clean this little baby off. And let's do it again in Poppy Parade. We're gonna do these. And I feel like maybe there was a rule I'm trying to remember. I'm doing that down low because I feel like I needed to cut along the bottom to get my punch in there. But I don't know if I did it upside down or not. So we'll figure it out. Okay, so one more time. This time we are going to use Mango Melody ink with those little flowers. So we're gonna punch a bunch of flowers and we're gonna just use a few of them. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so we've got our three colors. Mango Melody, Poppy Parade. Uh, oh, sorry, no, no, no. Melon Mambo is the pink, Poppy Parade, and Mango Melody, okay? All right, so let's just clean. While we're cleaning, because I think I'm done stamping, I'm gonna just do that. So you can use this, you guys know, right? Like I pushed too hard and I got ink up on the top there. So do that. Let's just clean everything though, because some of these I use on the next card, and I don't know which ones right now. We will figure that out in a moment. Okay. So you guys see, are you even seeing? Maybe you're not seeing, huh? Love my scrub pad or whatever this is, the chamois, whatever it's called, the purple, the purple thing. Did I say hello, Sally? If I didn't, hello, hello. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna just move all of these things out of the way and let's do our punching. Don't think we need that guy anymore either. Okay, so we are going to line 
how did I do that? Isn't that funny? Now I'm like, hmm, yeah. So I did this card. Oh my gosh, we can do this. Okay, here we go. That's gonna fit in, yeah. I'm like giving up too quickly. So what I need to do though, and this is what I was kind of saying was, I didn't punch down far enough so it won't fit in quite right. So I think this is gonna work if we do this. Uh, there. Kind of. We need to, although I'm not even gonna use that really little one. Let's try that. Okay, so note to yourselves here is to just um, use a little bit skinnier strip so then you can manipulate it a little bit more. So that looks pretty good. So those little babies pop everywhere and you just have to keep track of a few of them. I only used a couple in each color. So if I lose one or two in the babies, those are too small. I don't know how you ever use that. So we won't even worry about that one. Okay, now this one I think I stamped down much lower, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be able to fit it in. So isn't that cute how they fit right in, this little punch? I guess if you wanted to make like sprinkles, you could use those smallest ones. Otherwise, oops, had it all set and then I moved my hand to help punch. There, there we go. Have those little babies and then one more punch. Okay, let's see. Last one, isn't that funny? I feel like I need to get up in there a little bit more, like right there. But again, those little baby ones don't matter so much because I'm not using them. There we go, oh, it's like perfect, you guys see? And yeah, glue dots would work too, wouldn't they, Sally? There, almost locked up on itself. Okay, so we're gonna carefully slide these little babies right up here, because we do need a few of those. We have to do our um, embossing though too, so let's do that. Mm, actually, hold on. Let's cut these little guys out too. Okay, so there are not dies to cut these flowers out. I think you see on Pinterest, there are lots of people that are cutting them out. It's kind of a bummer that they don't have um, dies for these, because it is more fun, I think, um, to be able to pop these up. So I'm just using, sorry, can you guys even see? I'm like too busy being like intent on, I'm just kind of, mm, I don't like it to be perfect. You know, like I like it to look a little notchy, kind of like the flower would be a little bit spriggy and notchy, if that makes sense. So I don't go like super smooth movements, I guess. I kind of do, I don't know, I'm like twitchy cuts or something. <laughs> I would say twitchy cuts is what we're going to do here to kind of give it a little bit more look of texture. So you see how I'm kind of maneuvering the paper almost around my snips, but you can see how kind of quick and easy it is. So yeah, it's all right that we don't have um, dies for those. You know what we're going to do so we don't lose these things. I know I need dimensionals on the back of these. I'm going to get the babies. This one probably can use a baby. Now we want a pink. Actually here we're going to do like a couple pinks, a couple red, and one orange it looks like. So in terms of colors, right? So we've got there. So we got two pinks. We're going to do that red. So I'm trying to get different sizes too, so they're not all the same. There's a red also, right? Okay, there, I think I just used five of them. So those can be extra that we can use for something else. Okay, so now these teeny weeny little babies, I used on the bigger, like those three I was able to use. I thought these still worked. They're pretty good size, even these little mini dimensionals. I don't see them though. Like when I look at the card right here, I don't see them behind, right? All right, let's see, so we got that one. But then these two babies, I used like just little snips. Not even of that because it's not as narrow, but if you go kind of along the edge, uh, I don't even know if that's gonna be too big. Just use a little teeny tiny bit. I think that's gonna work, yep, okay. And then we are gonna do one more, just a little snip there. 
because I like them popped up. I think that looks really cute when you do that. So we just take a little bit of our edge. Oops, it's like stuck to my finger now. It doesn't want to come off onto my paper. There, okay. So that's that, right? So we're gonna just pray that we don't lose those. We're gonna just scoot those right up there because those are all ready to go now. Okay, so now, actually, you know what? While it's kind of cleared out, let me give you dimensions of things too, okay? So we have, this is our, what's this called? This is Coastal Cabana. Love my Coastal Cabana, one of my favorite colors, okay? So we have our full sheet of Coastal Cabana cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? To make, as always, our nice crisp fold on our card. <laughs> All right, you're enjoying the card. I'm glad to hear that, Miss Sally. This is the piece we're gonna emboss in just a sec that is four by five and a quarter inches. And then I just have a bunch of scraps of Whisper White card stuff for future punching and um, fussy cutting of the flowers. This is a piece of basic black card stock that measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then this piece that we stamped in Whisper White, three by four. So that's just gonna layer right on there, okay? And actually, I don't think I mind that little bit along the bottom. I was really trying not to, hard to not have that, but it's not bothering me now. So, okay, so let's do our embossing. And we are using, let's see, let me grab this out here. This time we use the Ornate Garden embossing folder, okay? So we're gonna use this cute little baby because I thought the flowers, if you can see like the little flowers in here coordinated really well with those little flowers that we just put um, dimensionals behind, okay? All right, so we're just cranking this and this is the only time we need our, oops, oh boy. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you heard that <sighs> noise. I kind of had it off the edge there. Ah, it happens, you know, just shaved a little off of the blue plate. It'll be all right. If it's really crooked, you want to pull it back out and start over because you can really hurt your embossing folder, but I did okay there. All right, so let's see. We're going to add some adhesive to this piece. I really don't want to jinx myself because I have been having a bit of a hard time with our new Stampin' Seal. I have yet to actually call Stampin' Up to talk to him about it. I've watched a couple of videos and I've been trying I have found the flick kind of like we used to use with the um, fast fuse. That's what's finally been working for me. Because before, when I would run it, it was like it wouldn't cut it enough, so the adhesive was never ready to run for the next time. So I don't know, either that or I finally, this guy finally decided to stop giving me fits. I'm not totally sure. But okay, so there's that. We're going to put some dimensionals behind this black piece now okay that one there and that one there okay so we're going to just peel these off you're struggling with the seal too jamie yeah and i really hate to say that because i want to love it i mean it's what we have now um, and we will get used to it um, but i think the flick i'll show you guys again when we do our next card because I kind of didn't, I was like, oh, like I said, I don't want to jinx myself if I'm all like, oh yeah, I know how to use this now. And then it doesn't work very well. Then I kind of look like a silly person. So I didn't want to say too much until it was running and it did seem to be running okay. So, all right, we're going to flip this around. We're going to put that one maybe right about there. And it's just so fun how, um, oh, McKinley, hello. Learning from me too. That's cute. She's going to do some stamping with you today, Sally. So yeah, I love just these little flowers, just kind of adding them in, like they're just growing in the field, right? These fun little field flowers. Okay, oh, maybe put that one there. So you can kind of just sprinkle them all over the place, really. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to figure out if, I, if there's any sticky left on that. I've been kind of manhandling it so much. Hopefully there is some sticky on that. Okay, let's see if we go maybe right there with that one. And I have one more little red baby. So let's see, um, what is, let's see. 
Oh, yes, that I'm holding the seal differently. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'm not holding it right somehow, huh? I guess that's possible, Heather. I'll have to look at that. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I guess I, I that's how I always, I think that's how I was holding it. Now, isn't that funny? I'm like, how was I holding it? All right, we'll, we'll check that out with the next one too. Yeah, let me get there. So, okay, so last step is just to add a couple of little rhinestones. Just always have to have a little bit of uh, bling, oops. So I love to just kind of pick these up with my fingers. I've tried using tools and then they're kind of all over the place. Susan, you need, yeah, you're still working on it too. We will get there, we will figure it out together, ladies, as soon as I feel like, all right, I think I know what I'm doing. I'll, I'll show you, okay? I'll show you what I've got going. So anyway, yes, this is our first card, always in my heart with all the pretty flowers and the little, um, what is that? Dragonfly. <laughs> I was totally drawing a blank. Yes, the dragonfly. And then with the pretty um, embossing, I think, like I said, those flowers kind of um, complement each other pretty well, don't they? The little baby flowers in the embossing folder and those on the punch. So there we go. First card, ladies. All right. Um, let me, I think I need many of these colors. So let's just keep them out and I'm going to hope <laughs> that I know what I'm doing here, right? Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna move that there. Okay, so similar, very, very similar, because I loved the idea of using the embossing folder um, to kind of add a little bit of detail behind. And then look at the beautiful, this is some of that sheer. It's actually pool party, but I thought it worked really well with our Coastal Cabana card base. I think um, they can really complement each other nicely. And I love this stamp too, so I had to use that one on it. This sentiment is actually from, um, what, okay, what's she saying? When the runner gets stuck, run it over some adhesive. You have already, oh, that's a good idea. All right, if we get stuck, we'll try that. Yeah, because I have had a problem where I run it and then I go to like lift up and run it again and it's not working at all. So I like that idea, Grab, go back and grab, yeah, to help run it through. All right, that's a good idea. All right, we might have to try that if we have, now I won't have any problems because just because, right? But <laughs> okay, we'll see. I shouldn't even say that yet, should I, right? Okay, scooting things out of the way. Lots of stuff on this one here. Okay, I just need a, the stamp. Oh, I know what I was starting to tell you guys. I was going to show you the other stamp set that we are using. The uh, This is a beautiful one too. It's called Lovely You. So I used the just because sentiment right here, right? But we've got, I love all of these. This reminds me of a stamp set like from way back in the day when I first started stamping. There was something about kind of the regular, I'm going to say regular writing with the cursive writing and it was very similar to this and I loved that stamp set. I'm sure I don't have it any longer but it, it just kind of brought me back to like beginning stamping days, almost 10, no, more than 10 years ago now, right? I think it was 2008. Isn't that crazy? I don't even know exactly when I bought the starter kit. Plus I was standing for a few years before that. So it's been a while, but love these, right? Love is what makes us family, miles apart, but still in my heart. Cherished friend, trust me, you're lovely. Smile, let's cheer you up. Heartfelt, wildly grateful. You're my person just because and always. And then some really pretty fun flowers here as well. So these are pretty similar, these stamp sets, I think. They've got with the nice sentiment, sorry, that just like bonked everything all over, didn't it? Yeah, I feel like they're a good complement to each other, these stamp sets are, so. Okay, let's scoot that out of the way. So let's see, what are we gonna do? Let me actually tell you about sizes so I don't forget, right? We'll give you dimensions of everything. Hello, Miss Debbie. Glad you can be here with us. So very similar. This time we made a tall card though. So again, Coastal Cabana, eight and a half by 11 cardstock. This time along the eight and a half inside, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then, can you guys see that? I'm like off a little bit. Oh, I'm way off. Ooh, I didn't realize how bad that was. Sorry guys, you wouldn't even be able to see like the bottom of what I'm doing here. There, are we up? We're almost there. Oh my gosh, sorry, 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 guys. Okay, so along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? Then, right here, again, making our nice crisp fold on our card, as always. I feel like I always say that, because I always do that. Another piece of Coastal Cabana, again, measures four by five and a quarter inches. This is the piece we're gonna emboss. Then I just have some scraps of basic black and whisper white. Thank you for the share, Debbie. 
and then actually some more whisper white so these pieces we're just going to use for the die cutting stamping and the sentiment right there and one thing i want to try i like the little bit of black peeking out but i kind of want to see if i cut this one with a smaller square and you see a little bit more black we're going to try that one and see which one we like better on this one okay so let's see let's do our stamping you know what i want to do um <laughs> I think I did my die cutting of my square and then I put my stamping on because I want to make sure I have room for all my flowers and they don't cut off. So let's do that. I do want to do my just because. We're going to stamp this, then do our die cutting and come back and do this floral stamping. Okay, makes sense? Maybe. Okay, so we're going to use our black memento ink for our just because sentiment. We're going to stamp that right on there. I love that. The cursive. I wish I could write like that. That's probably why I like it so much. You know, pretty. <laughs> My handwriting is so bad these days. Okay, so since we're all set up to do our embossing, let's do that first with our, this time we're using, where did it go? The Parisian embossing folder. Okay. I love that this carried over too. Yay. So we're gonna pop that. And I'm trying to get it kind of centered you can see, so I want like my scrolls um, to be centered kind of side to side here. And I think that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna crank this baby through. Isn't that funny? I thought I really didn't have much to tell you guys about today, but those swaps took ugh, longer than I thought. I was thinking I was gonna be less than an hour, but it probably wound up being a little bit more, which is fine, right? We're all having a good time. Okay, so now we're going to have to do this separately, though. Okay, so we have, first of all, these are the perfect parcel dies. Uh, oh, watching from the beach. That is awesome, Debbie. Well, how cool. I want to be at the beach, too. So I love that little label from this. Again, the perfect parcels dies, okay? And then... So now I want to show you. So we're going to use for the black that we're going to do in a moment. This is the very largest scallop edge square. So instead of using this baby for our white, I want to use the next smallest. So let's see. Can I figure that out? So that one went right there. So that was actually probably the largest straight edge. So we're going to go with this next largest straight edge. So this is the second largest straight edge, not the very largest. We're going to try that one. Maybe it'll be too small, but we're going to try it and see because I'm curious. Okay, so we've got those. Okay, cranking, cranking, cranking. All right, I'm going to pop these out. This is my favorite. I still love the little detail, the little stitching and scallop edge there, right, of that one. Okay, so that's all good. And then this is what we're going to do our stamping on. So we just have one more, uh, the black. We just are going to cut the scallop edge again with the largest scallop edge die in the layering squares dies. Okay. Pull that right off of there and scoop this out of the way. Okay. Oh, I'm like tossing everything everywhere. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is going to go, yeah, I might even like that better. We're going to just have to see about that. Okay, so now on this one, we are going to do our stamping. Got my little scrap paper there, so I make sure I have, I want to get everything on that I can here. Okay, stamp right here. So we are using Melon Mambo ink. We're going to use that one first, and we're going to stamp those way up high. And then I'm actually gonna grab my scrub, stamp and scrub. We're gonna clean that off because next I want to use some Mango Melody ink. And we're gonna put those, let's see if I go maybe right about there, kind of end up off the edge a little bit, right? Then we need our, this one, the Granny Apple Green. We're gonna stamp our leaves now leaves right here. <laughs> I brought them over. I didn't think I had them. Okay, so we're going to do 
Oh, isn't that funny? I angled that quite a bit. I didn't quite realize that, but that's going to be okay. So those are going to go there, and those are going to go there. And I got that on my thumb. Okay. All right. Now we are, okay, so this is the moment, right? So I guess I, I don't know. Isn't that funny? Now I'm trying to figure out how I hold it different than maybe somebody else does. But yeah, that's how I hold it. And I'm doing that flick of the wrist like we used to kind of teach with the fast fuse. And that is working for me. I have heard other people say that it doesn't work for them. So it might just kind of, it's going to be kind of a trial and error thing. But I will tell you, I love that idea that if you put adhesive, uh, let's see, let me keep, <laughs> let me do this first here, right? So we're going to put some little babies on there. Okay, so what I was starting to say was when we go to put adhesive on here, if it stops, which now it probably won't, but if this wasn't sticky and I can feel that it is, but that's what kept happening to me before. It was like I wasn't breaking the seal enough, but I love that idea that you go back and pick up some more adhesive if, yeah, ooh, there it is right there. And then it gets running again, it did, yep. Okay, that's good. So I like the, there, so we're gonna pick up a little bit more because it wasn't sticking. Oh, oh my gosh, that is fabulous, I love that. So do you guys get that? So the idea, and I've already kind of gone around here, but we'll do a little bit more, right? So if I run this and, it, and I go to put it down and it doesn't work, which it's actually not right now, I'm gonna go back and pick up a little bit more adhesive and then it's almost like it advances it forward because what I kept having to do was I would run it and then I'd go to use it again and it wasn't sticky and I'd have to use my finger to advance it forward. That is the one key is you don't like push really hard or um, yeah, ma mainly just don't push really hard thinking you're gonna get it to keep going. If it's not sticky, you have to find a way to advance it. You can use your finger and advance it or I love that idea of just grab some where adhesive already is and it helps roll it to get the adhesive to the point where it'll start running again. So what a great idea. Oh. Love it. Thank you for sharing that tip, Nikki. Okay, so now I think we definitely have enough adhesive. I do generally put quite a bit of adhesive around the edges because I don't like with the embossing folders, I don't like when it kind of rumples up, you know, because there's so much texture on there, right? Okay, good thing I did not peel those off yet because I want to tie my beautiful The Pool Party Sheer ribbon. And this ribbon is actually part of our Whale of a Time class to go. You can get a full bolt of this ribbon if you sign up for that class to go. Or you can just order it yourself. Yeah. We use some of this on our projects, but not all of it. So you'd have some left over, maybe to make this card or others. Okay. So then I always have to fuss with this a little bit. And sometimes it doesn't like um, go kind of the angle that I want. So some. Like this one, I think I did have to even kind of undo and redo. Uh, let's see. You, you could spend a lot of time playing with these bows, right? Pull that one down there. There, we're going to tighten it up. And what I like to do is even kind of use my finger to pull it, because then because it always seems to loosen, but maybe not quite as much when you hold your finger down on it, okay? All right, so... Debbie, watching from the beach. I still love that. Oh my gosh. What a great day to be at the beach too. All right, so we're going to put this one. You guys, I think I might like the a little bit more black peeking out even better than the other one. Mm -hmm. You guys have to tell me which one you like better. I'll show you the other one in a sec. I'm looking at it and you probably can't even really see it, can you? Okay, so there is our just because. Okay, so here's the one. Yeah. I think I like seeing more black. So teeny tiny little bit showing right there. Much more showing here. Oh, and of course, we need a few rhinestones. So let's kind of pop those on our card. Looks like I need to trim, oops, trim the bow down a little bit on this side too. It's a little bit extra long. There we go. All right. So ladies, what do you guys think? You have to vote, which one? More black around the edge or less black? I think I'm going this one, right? And then here's our other card, right? Okay, so quick recap. As always, I like to do this when we are wrapping things up, okay? So don't forget, make sure you use the host code, more black, 
Yeah, me too. Number two. All right. So use the host code. Put your order in of at least $30. You're going to get these make and takes. You either get the make and takes or the completed cards. I send you an email and ask you which one you would like, right? Your name also goes in the drawing to win the fun new Hippo Happiness stamp set, right? Bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick from either the new Butterfly Gems as a free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. Tons of great 3D project ideas in here this month so you can make treats for everybody. So here's the host code, shop online. You get your um, $5 bonus day coupon when you order at least $50 as well. So great time to shop. Thank you guys so much. I'm, I think everybody's liking the more black. Now I wish I had done that in the beginning. Anyway, okay, so you guys have a great weekend. Loved hanging out with you guys today, and thank you so much for joining. And yes, Teresa, I'll get your goodies sent out to you. So see you guys next Friday. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Have a good weekend.